An equation has two parts that have the same value. One part of the equation is on one side of the equal sign, and the other part is on the other side of the equal sign. It's often referred to as being like a balance scale. If you put a value on one side of the scale, to keep it balanced, you would need to put exactly the same value on the other side of the scale. And that's why these are called balanced equation. Every equation needs to be balanced so that the two sides are equal. If something happens to one side of the equation, you need to do something to the other side to keep it in balance. So in this case, if you subtracted one from the left side, you would also, in order to keep it balanced, you would also need to subtract one from the right side. And now it remains balanced because two equals two. Sometimes the two sides will appear to be different, but if you look at them carefully, you'll see that the value is the same. So in this case, three plus one is equal to two plus two. It's a balanced scale, even though it looks different. As long as the value remains the same, the two sides will stay balanced. And similarly, if you add one to one side, well, what do you think you'd need to do to the other side? Of course, you'd need to add one to keep it balanced. Because you know that four plus one is the same as two plus three. They both have a value of five. Doesn't matter what operation you do to one side, you need to do the same to the other side. So here we have four on each side. If we multiply one side by two to get eight on one side, you're right, we'd have to do the same to the other side because four times two is equal to four times two. That's a balanced equation. We could divide as well. So let's divide one side by four, and you end up with two in each group. So again, doing the same thing to the other side, dividing by four, and we end up with two equals two, which is a balanced equation. 8 divided by 4 equals 8 divided by 4. If you have a scale that's not balanced, it's possible that you can do different operations to different sides of the scale. For example, let's say we subtract 1 from this side. In order to balance it, we would add 1 to the right-hand side. That would give us our balanced equation. So sometimes it's possible to do different operations to different sides, but it's important to keep in mind the visual concept of how the two sides of the equation need to continue to be balanced no matter what happens to one side of the equation.